with less than 10 weeks to go to the marathon, I really need to get my long run up to standard. And I'm using this opportunity for a first real long run to test out the Morton Gel 100s. First, a little breakfast. Three gels with me, a bottle of water. I'm gonna use an eyeline waste bottle holder that I've had for well over 20 years. Basically, because I don't want a vest, I want to have this run being closer to a marathon and not so much have the feeling of an ultra or trail type race. There's two points to today's long run. One is to push that long run out further, as it's currently a weakness, and two, try out the Morton's gel. See if it's worth the hype. It's my first go using it, and let's see how it goes. Now I'll be spreading the gels out a little bit more than recommended by Morton, mainly because of the lack of really long runs, it means I haven't been consuming anything during my running lately. So I think my stomach isn't as trained as it used to be. So I'll spread it out, take a gel every 45 minutes, and we'll see how that sits. Very first impressions is that it's slimy, but not in a bad way. A way that actually probably helps make it easier to swallow and consume and two the flavor is nondescript quite inoffensive and even though it's the first one that I've had I've only had one my impression is that it'll be something that's quite easy to take in a higher volume and keep taking the same thing over and over less likely to get flavor fatigue if there's no real flavor <laughs> About 90 minutes in, did over 15 kilometres covered and had number two of the gels. And look same as before. Now this one I actually found like had a little bit of trouble getting it out of the packet, it seemed a bit stuck in it. And volume-wise it seems okay. And in fact the packet appears to be just that little bit bigger than necessary. Maybe a smaller packet would just make it easier to get out but ripping the top off all the rest makes it pretty easy and I think it'd be pretty good come race day and a quarter hours in just about on 23k and uh, the legs are feeling absolutely smashed energy wise it's a bit more than my uh, previous long runs and I haven't really gone further than this in any of the others so and it's time for the third gel let's see if it makes a difference to the remainder
miles than the marathon will do. Certainly takes out time, but hopefully will force my legs to be a lot stronger come race day. However, I faded today, but that's why we do training. Three hour run done, 28.49 kilometers. To be honest, I was hoping to be over 30, but it wasn't. And still, it's my longest run since. Um, I haven't run this far since, well, 14th of June, 2019. So that's over two years ago. And final verdict for the Morton gels? Well, I like them. And will I use them in the race? Well, quite likely and I think that it's going to be my fuel of choice for the upcoming marathon but I've got a few more trials to test out. The pluses for it are the flavour, it's very neutral, um, it's almost no flavour at all and that alone will be, uh, it's something I won't get sick of, it will uh, help fight flavour fatigue. Uh, the ease of use, look a few more goes at it and I'll get it out of the packet a little bit easier and it just sits really well in the gut, at least on this first run anyway. I have a few more runs and I need to test them out and to test them out with having them closer together but I think it's going to sit really well in the stomach and look we know stomach issues can be real race limiters. The gel that I usually have been using are the hammer gels and there is quite a cost difference between the two so in Australian dollars Hammer gels tend to be $2.49. I can get it down to about $1.25 if I buy it in the jugs and use the flasks. However, the Morton gel is $4.50 for the same size serving. Is it worth it? Probably not for training, but for races, yes. Have you tried the Morton's gel? Do you think it lives up to the hype? Let me know. Keep on running. <laughs>